In an effort to create new supply chain structures, the United Soybean Board and the Yield Lab Institute are teaming up for the Soy Innovation Challenge. It's a startup accelerator focused on developing ag technology for the future. Past USB Chair Keith Tapp joins us now for a further look. Keith, as always, thanks for taking the time to chat with us today. Uh, if you would, tell us a little bit more about the Soy Innovation Challenge. Thank you. I sure will. So to commemorate the National Ag Day on March 24th, the United Soybean Board and the Yield Lab Institute announced the Soybean uh, Innovation Challenge. And the Soy Innovation Challenge calls on ag tech startups and teams to disrupt the current soybean value chain and create value for soybean farmers through innovation and technology. And this startup accelerator program will identify uh, innovative soybean value chain based product solutions and support the most promising ones with business coaching and networking and this will help get us more innovations to market where soybean farmers can utilize them. When we're talking about innovations, what exact kind of inf innovations are you incorporating into this program? So we're really seeking ideas for the creation of new kinds of supply chain structures and technologies that achieve three main goals offering more enhanced transparency, facilitating alignment based on measurable sustainability parameters such as soil health and carbon sequestration, and increasing the farm profitability while encouraging development and uptake of sustainable technologies on farms. These are areas that could have big impacts on profitability of soybean farmers in the future, and that's what we're wanting to support. So where can folks learn more? Uh, the application period runs from today through May 1st, and USB and the Yule Lab invites AgTep startups, uh, project teams, or groups to submit their ideas online. And the application plus more information can be found on our website at unitedsoybean.org or follow uh, our social media for regular updates. Now, Keith, you farm in western Kentucky, so before we let you go, how are things looking in your area as spring gets started? You know, we're pretty wet. Uh, reminds me of uh, most springs that we've had in the past, but uh, we have you know, we've gotten some field work done, uh, nothing in the field planted yet. All right. Well, Keith, as always, thank you very much for the update. Past chair of the United Soybean Board, Keith Tapp, joining us on the phone today from Kentucky.